Hi there, my name's David Southam from Faro. Today I'm going to be showing you the brand new Faro S350. You can see this is a terrestrial 3D laser scanner. It's uh, extremely light, so this new version is one kilogram lighter than the previous version, the Faro X330. So nice and portable, easy to use and easy to set up. Today we've got it set up on a carbon fibre tripod which is extremely versatile and very good for getting into small spaces, uh, on staircases and uh, small rooms, also for doing entire floor plans and externals of buildings. We've got the large touchscreen display, very easy to see, very easy to use and you can create your own projects and settle the resolutions and if I spin it round just quickly onto the back of the scanner we have an integrated battery so this will last around four and a half hours of scanning time there is also an SD card in the bottom so all of the data is st stored onto the SD card this makes it extremely simple to take the data and then save that onto the computer and start to process uh, the data this one has got um, a smaller body than the X330 the previous model it has also improved on the accuracy. So the previous model was plus or minus two millimeters on the linear accuracy. This one is plus or minus one millimeter. We also have the added benefit now with this new model of IP rating. So this means that it has a, uh, a water and dust protection. It's a sealed uh, unit, which helps if you're working in dusty environments or if you have uh, moisture or rain, this unit will uh, be protected. So that's a new feature. This unit was, uh, was launched uh, this week at Intergeo. So it's a brand new unit. So where you find most of these laser scanning uh, scanners being used, it could be for a crime scene application where you need to document in 3D, uh, it could be for surveying. So where you really get a, bit, a benefit with laser scanning is the amount of detail that we can capture. When you laser scan you pick up everything, to, so you get a very rich data environment. We also have customers using it in the forest industry for, for scanning trees, for working out plot estimations. We also uh, sell a lot of scanners into the oil and gas market. So let's do a, do a quick scan ourselves. And it's two separate processes. So the scan will happen first of all. So that is the, uh, the scan is now complete. So you also get a preview of the scan that's taken place. This is important because if you're on site, you want to make sure that you've captured all of the data and you can see exactly what you've scanned. You, could also, you can also window off certain areas and scan them at a higher resolution. Another new feature of this uh, new Faro S350 is the fact that we've extended the temperature range. What we've uh, now got is a temperature range from minus 20 to plus 55. Um, we've also, on the top of the unit, you'll notice there's two covers here. These actually can come off and there are adapters and in the future there will be additional accessories available for this product which will be able to be used in that. Another new feature that we've added to the scanner is the ability to be able to uh, self-compensate the scanner. So in theory this is a way that if you feel that the scanner calibration may have drifted we can set up targets run a, a program on the scanner and it will then adjust so it can actually self-compensate in the field. So this is a brand new feature again of this, uh, of this scanner. 